Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab, the paragon of justice and leadership in early Islam. In Islamic history, few figures stand as tall and revered as Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab. Known for his iron-clad commitment to justice, unparalleled leadership, and transformative governance, Umar's life and legacy continue to resonate across centuries. His journey from a fierce opponent of Islam to one of its most ardent defenders and most capable leaders is a tale of profound change, remarkable achievements, and enduring inspiration. As the second caliph of Islam, his reign not only expanded the Muslim world but also established principles of justice and welfare that remain influential to this day. Moving ahead with this motivational story, it is requested to subscribe the channel after watching this video. Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab, born in 584 CE in Mecca, belonged to the esteemed Adi clan of the Quraysh tribe. He was known for his formidable strength, leadership qualities, and eloquence. Before embracing Islam, Umar was a staunch opponent of the new faith preached by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His strong character made him a prominent figure in Meccan society, feared and respected by many. In the early years of Islam, Umar's opposition was fierce, and he actively persecuted Muslims. His turning point came when he set out to kill the Prophet. On his way, he learned that his sister Fatima and her husband had converted to Islam. Enraged, he confronted them, but upon hearing the Quranic verses they were reading, his heart softened. Deeply moved by the words of the Quran, Umar went to the Prophet and declared his faith in Islam in 616 CE. This pivotal moment greatly strengthened the Muslim community, allowing them to practice their faith more openly. Umar's contributions to Islam were not limited to his conversion. He played a critical role in several key battles during the Prophet's time, including the Battle of Badr, Uhud, and the Battle of the Trench. His strategic mind and bravery were instrumental in these early military engagements, helping to establish and defend the fledgling Muslim state. After the Prophet's death, Umar became a close advisor to the first caliph, Abu Bakr. His counsel was crucial during the Ridda Wars, which suppressed apostate tribes and solidified the unity of the Muslim community. Umar's strategic foresight was also vital in the campaigns against the Byzantine and Sasanian empires, paving the way for the Islamic conquests that followed. In 634 CE, upon the death of Caliph Abu Bakr, Umar was chosen as the second Caliph of Islam. His ten-year reign is often considered a golden age of Islamic governance, characterized by justice, administrative reforms, and significant territorial expansion. Umar's rule saw the rapid spread of Islam, with Muslim armies conquering vast regions, including parts of the Byzantine Empire and the entire Sasanian Empire. Umar was deeply concerned with justice and the welfare of his subjects. He established an independent judiciary, appointing judges based on their merit and integrity. His commitment to justice is legendary, illustrated by numerous anecdotes. One famous incident involved an Egyptian Christian who was wronged by the son of Amr ibn al-As, the governor of Egypt. The man traveled to Medina to seek justice. Umar summoned both the governor and his son, and in a public trial allowed the victim to exact retribution, demonstrating that no one, regardless of status, was above the law. Umar's administration was marked by numerous public welfare initiatives. He introduced pensions for the elderly, stipends for the poor, and support for widows and orphans. He established a welfare state that took care of its citizens' needs, reflecting the Islamic principles of social justice and compassion. To manage the rapidly expanding empire, Umar divided it into provinces, each overseen by a governor and a judge. This decentralization ensured effective governance and accountability, preventing the abuse of power. Infrastructure development was another hallmark of Umar's rule. He oversaw the construction of roads, bridges, canals, and the founding of new cities such as Basra and Kufa. 
these projects facilitated trade, communication, and the movement of armies, contributing to the prosperity and stability of the Islamic State. Umar's dedication to justice was further exemplified by the story of a piece of cloth from the booty. After a battle, booty was distributed among the soldiers, including pieces of cloth. Umar, who was known for his tall stature, appeared in a garment that seemed larger than what his share could have provided. When questioned about it, Umar called upon his son Abdullah to explain. Abdullah clarified that he had given his share to his father, so that Umar could have a garment that fit him. This incident highlighted Umar's transparency and accountability, even as the caliph. Another story that exemplifies Umar's justice and humility involves a case where a Jew was accused of stealing Umar's shield. Despite being the caliph, Umar ensured that the trial was fair. When the evidence was insufficient, the Jew was acquitted demonstrating Umar's commitment to impartiality and the rule of law. Umar's nightly patrols of Medina are also well known. Disguised as an ordinary citizen, he would walk the streets to understand the needs and concerns of his people firsthand. On one such night, he overheard a woman lamenting her poverty. Umar immediately went to the treasury, filled a sack with provisions, and delivered it to her home personally. This act of humility and service embodied the principles of Islamic leadership. Umar's legacy is profound and far-reaching. His governance laid the foundations for an Islamic state that balanced justice, welfare, and military prowess. The administrative and social reforms he implemented continue to influence modern governance models in many Muslim-majority countries. His reign was marked by significant achievements in both governance and expansion creating a lasting impact on the Islamic world. Towards conclusion of the video, may I request you not to forget to like, share, and comment on the video, and also subscribe the channel. In 644 CE, Umar's life was tragically cut short when he was assassinated by a Persian slave named Abu Lulua while leading the Fajr prayer in Medina. His death marked the end of an era, but his influence endures. He was buried alongside Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, and Abu Bakr, RA, in the Prophet's Mosque in Medina, signifying his esteemed place in Islamic history. Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab's life is a testament to his unwavering commitment to justice, effective leadership, and profound dedication to the principles of Islam. His story continues to inspire millions worldwide, serving as a beacon of righteousness and governance. Thank you for watching.